All right, welcome back to, um, well, whatever this is. I'm Casey Campbell. Um, of course, this is the Casey Campbell podcast, of course. I'm joined by, of course, uh, regular on this podcast, Doug Barnes, and decided to bring along his girlfriend, uh, Sarah, of course, you've, who you've seen in uh, videos and vlogs. We follow Doug Barnes on his YouTube channel. How's it going? How's it going, you two? What's up, man? You're doing pretty good. Okay, so you guys are both um, living out in Ocean City. How's it going? Pretty good, pretty good. Um, weather's been here and there, but overall, it's been fun. Yeah, it's been dope. <laughs> She's, we'll get the vanilla out of her pretty soon. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so how did you guys first meet each other? Um, well, she actually like stalked my Snapchat. Yeah, she stalked my Snapchat. And then I kind of ghosted her for a while. Yeah. <laughs> and then we wound up meeting up at a party. And then we hung out like every day after that. <laughs> <laughs> nice. <laughs> you know, relationships always start on Snapchat, don't they? So. Oh, yeah. <laughs> or Instagram or TikTok or anything like that. So, there you go. Um, so I know you guys have been dating for over a year. Sarah, did you know that he raced cars? Um, I actually did. Um, like you said, I was the gold of, digger. No, I didn't know that far. <laughs> I was kind of stalking um his Instagram, and I saw all the pictures of race cars, so I did know that. Well, the night, the night that she added me on Snapchat, I was on um, I was down in Charlotte at the NASCAR banquet, so it kind of added up that way. <laughs> yeah. So yeah. So, I mean, I know you got, I know you guys have been living out in Ocean City for the summer. I know that, you know, you're, you know, I don't know what Doug does for all day, but I know you're camp, I think you're a camp counselor, if I'm not mistaken. Yes, I am. It's um, interesting, to say the least. Every day is very, very different. So, <laughs> better than an office job, I think. <laughs> Good. Um, are, so, are you guys like, are you guys like, do you, are you guys over like sickness and all that stuff? Because it looks like you guys were, you guys weren't feeling good. Yeah. I'm, I'm just about over it. Um, I still have like a little bit nasally, like a nasal in my voice, I guess. But I don't know. I still have like that weakness that you have after you're, you know, getting over being sick. So I just have like, I always feel like I have something like leaning on me, like weighing on me all the time right now. So once that's going, I'll be 100%. Oh. Okay. So there's, uh, you know, if you, Sarah, if you've seen these, uh, usually I try to get Doug's reaction to a number of, number of interesting things. Oh yeah. <laughs> uh, so, so here's the, this thing, uh, little Caesars actually got a new like pizza and it's actually the pepperonis are plant-based. Um, so it's like the, like the, it's like the healthy kind of, the, of that and all that. Would you, would you guys eat it? I'd probably <laughs> no. <laughs> That's horrible, yeah. disgusting. I might if someone didn't tell me that it was like plant based before. Like if I didn't know, maybe. Yeah, and then when I she have... throws up, she yeah, realizes like, oh, that makes sense. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So it looks like, and then also Subway got some new menu items, um, and apparently their tuna is still not well if it's real or not you'd be the judge of that would you would you guys get tuna from subway i don't think i would get fish from anywhere that's not a restaurant or you know myself yeah my friend works at subway and based on what she told me i don't think that i would really eat there at all and no one no one eats at subway anymore yeah. so <laughs> it's yeah it's kind of, it's kind of interesting so Okay, so what's like your all? What's like the go-to restaurant for you guys? Like, where do you guys like to go? Definitely Chipotle and Chick Fil A. Was just at. I was just at oh. Chick Fil A today. So. Oh, I'm so jealous. I love Chipotle. There's, there's <laughs> another spot that we go to at home called Melting Pot. Yeah. That that's like that's the shit. That's where we go to like all the time. But that's like a four-hour drive from where we are right now. So now we have been resorting to Chipotle and Chick-fil-A. But. Well, 
Yeah, because here's the thing. I went to Chick. I, I was I was going to you know the mall. The, you know this ancient place where no one goes to anymore apparently. So so Chick. So there was Chick Fil A like literally right next to it, and it was like all these car. And it was like the line for all this was like in like the next parking lot or something. So I'm like, it's like you see michigan doesn't get much chick-fil-a's so it's like they're like ancient when they like pop up or something so i'm like really is this what you it's like the state's like obsessed with it or something i don't know yeah yeah chick-fil-a we have a lot they're pretty crowded (laughs) yeah there's only one here there's only there's at home home, but there's only one here it's not even in ocean city actually like you have to go across the bay to get there and it's the worst Chick-fil-A. Like, this Chick-fil-A just pisses me off, like, beyond belief. Like, they don't have Powerade. Their milkshakes only come in, in one size. They've forgotten the sauce on a, multiple occasions. It's, I don't know. I like home. <laughs> yeah, they're going to get a, a one-star review if I ever <laughs> remember to review them. Sarah, now you know why I get him on every week. Oh, is, yeah. because, is because he, he, cause he says things like that. Um, <laughs> Did you try? So, okay. So, what's what's a better candy? M and M's, Skittles, or um, peanut M and M's? Mine is M and M's all the way. I love chocolate. Definitely M and M's. Man, you already asked me this question. I said it depends on what mood you're in. I said you either, if you want sweet, you gotta take Skittles. If you want some chocolate, then you M&M take M and M's. Also sweet. In what world is M and M's sweet? It's chocolate. Chocolate is sweet. I disagree very strongly. Okay. <laughs> <It's>, <laughs> okay. You're good. Um, so, yeah, did I tell you guys? So, I don't know if you know this, Sarah, but apparently Skittles is not the green Skittle, is not the lime Skittle. It's like this like green apple thing, and it's still oh, yeah. like, yeah, it's. I heard about that. Bro, we got a huge bag okay. right here. I swear, like, I don't know, I guess it changes. Huge bag of Skittles. Yeah. It is, in fact, green apple. Yeah, green apple. <laughs> Skittles. <laughs> oh, it fell. <laughs> um, I, I figured I, I couldn't get, I couldn't ask, I couldn't resist asking this question. Um, so when you, Sarah, what was your reaction when, first off, when he, uh, you know, jumped on the car and all that? Oh my God. <laughs> she she didn't even have her phone or anything yeah, like that. I it was funny story. I actually was grounded during that time, so oh. I didn't have my phone or anything. So I saw it like days later. So yeah. I had no idea, and I finally got to talk to him. I was like, like what happened? Like what is this? Because he's blowing up on Twitter, Instagram, what Facebook. I was like, I didn't even know what happened. So I finally got to talk to him. Days later, when everything kind of calmed down, I was just like, why would you do that? I'm like staying at home, like, oh, I hope your drink is good tonight. Meanwhile, he's jumping on cars, and I had no clue. <laughs> Yo, I actually, I talked to Tyler uh, for the first time on the phone today. You did? How'd that go? I did. Yeah, it went well. It went well. Like I said, we always used to get, we got along. We just, like, you know, when you race, you butt heads. But we're going to... um we're going to do a video together and we're going to tell his side of everything in a few weeks. <laughs> so that's going to be, that is going to be amazing. That That's actually big yeah. news right there. So yeah, I know. Cause nobody's ever heard his side. Everybody's heard mine like a bunch of different yeah, times, through, times through your <laughs> show and then a few other ones. So you made a profit off of that. <laughs> I've absolutely not. I did not make any profit. You know how expensive a race car is. We're still big enough. Sure, you made a YouTube channel off of it, though. That's right. Yeah, I guess. But that YouTube channel is still showing some red numbers as of right now. <laughs> yeah. Oh boy. So are- hey, the fun and the memes is what is what pays everything off, though. <laughs> Love the fun memes and all that stuff. Yeah. <laughs> Did you? Oh, okay. That's uh, that's that's some good. That's some good stuff right there. That'll be uh, that'll be definitely fun to watch. We're gonna have to get you both on because that'll be uh, we we that is a good idea. 
That is a good, we'll, we'll save that for, um, you know, whatever. Okay, so a couple more things. Uh, Britney Spears is trying to hire her own attorney now because apparently the battle with the conservatorship is she lost it. Then it's like, uh, you know, I don't know. So how often do you guys follow celebrity news? Apparently a lot because when I talk to this guy. Well, I say normally I don't know what's going on or if it's something big and I see it on Twitter. You see it on TikTok. Let's be real. You see it on TikTok. Yeah, if I see it on TikTok, then yeah. yeah. Does Doug, yeah, Bob, does, hey, does, Sarah, does he use TikTok? All the time. Oh, I'm on TikTok all the time. All the time. All the time. Okay. You know, I, I actually started building up like a decent following on TikTok too. And then I, I do like a lot of the dances and stuff like that. And I'm just, I'm just kidding. <laughs> yeah, I was like, what are you talking about? I didn't see you dances. No, but we did like day in the life videos of like the racetrack stuff. And they did some of them did really well. They got, I think two of them got over 50,000 views. And then we didn't do in the past few races, but I'm on TikTok all the time, like probably an hour a day. Yeah, I'm not on TikTok. It's just, uh, I got too much stuff going on. And the last thing I need is more social media because you know, <laughs> so yeah. it's, uh, it's interesting. So let's see. So what is your all time? So what is both for the both of you? What is your like all time favorite like dessert or something? Could be ice cream, could be something from like Dairy Queen or something like that, or really anything. I like mint chocolate chip ice cream. Yeah. I'll mint. eat that all day. Yeah. yeah. Mint chocolate chip ice cream. Yeah. The toothbrush know. flavor. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. The toothbrush flavor. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Some people say that mint mint tastes like that, so. I like it. I though. like it. Good. <laughs> yeah. Normally, like usually, what I do first thing in the morning is I like I have mint toothpaste, so I just like eat a bunch of it, and it reminds me of it in the morning, and then I'm usually happy with that. What time do you get? What time do you get up? Like what time <laughs> do you get up every day? I get up at seven for work. Yeah, I usually get up. Like noon. Yeah, I get up. I get up way early now. Nah, I get up like nine thirty or something like that. No. No, you don't. <laughs> no, you don't. <laughs> <laughs> you get up at like noon. I get up at like seven. But okay, so Sarah, if you didn't have to go to work, what time would you get up? Like probably like ten, eleven. If I can sleep, then I sleep. Oh, jeez. I mean, that's uh, that's not as bad as some people, but it's bad. <laughs> I mean, I mean, do. You, Okay, in in all fairness, do you stay up to like two or three in the morning? Yeah, usually if I stay up late, I sleep in late. But if I for some reason go to bed early, then I don't sleep that late. Like maybe like okay. <laughs> I stay up pretty late because I have to get up at like five thirty every day when I'm like back in my at my house. So I'm taking full advantage of not of not having to get up early now. Oh yeah, that's right. I think oh yeah, that's right. You have an actual job. Yeah. <laughs> wow, we forgot about that. <laughs> well, I mean, are you just are you guys just out here for the summer and then you'll move like back in for a month and then you guys get your own apartment and stuff? Well, it'll probably be a little bit longer than a month, but yeah. Interesting. So, always uh always interesting out in uh, out in Ocean City. And finally, um what is something that you guys don't know about each other? Think of one thing that maybe like, like you guys don't know like about that. I got no idea. <laughs> there was something I told my friend Lauren yesterday. I don't know if you knew. In elementary school, I used to be like a klepto. Did I tell you that? What's that? Like someone who like steals. I knew that. Did yeah. I tell you that? I can't remember. I told you that. I just told you that story yesterday. <laughs> It runs. It runs in the in the family because I told you that margarita story. Oh, yeah. Yes, yes, yes. Yeah, of course. You couldn't forget. That was with her parents, so I see where yeah. she got it from. Yeah. The margarita. <laughs> yeah. If you watch the last episode we did, that's uh, that's the, the, he talks about that. The, yeah, she, she was out in the other room when I said yeah. it, so I ran out and grabbed the thing in front of her. That's funny. I, I don't know what she would know, not know about. It'd probably be something racing related. I don't know. Yeah, probably. <laughs> All right. Well, how many cars have I driven? Like how, <laughs> how many? Like how many different ranks of racing have I been in? Go karts, you did trucks, go karts, trucks, late models, um, 
Didn't you do Bandoleros or something that looked like that? Yeah, the Rat Dominion. It's okay. the same thing yeah. as, as Lego so cars. Four. Is it four? No. Five. What's the fifth one? It's like the Pro Cup series. <laughs> close enough. That's, I, I didn't think she was going to get um the legend cars. Well, you didn't technically, but I close enough. I, you know it's Inex, a terrible organization, but, you know. <laughs> yeah. Um, dude, imagine creating a – dude, no, I'm not even going to get it. Inex is such a shitty company. But... <laughs> oh, man. This is why I love doing yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. That's that's enough because you never know what to. Uh, we're gonna end it right there because you never know what could come out of this kid's mouth. So, uh, yeah. all right, we're gonna end it at that. Thanks for coming on. We're, let's have you both on again sometime. And uh, goodness, well, uh, maybe we'll see you next. We'll see you next week, Doug. All right. <laughs>